Do, do, you, do you guys think that somebody took the kite? Where, where could the kite be? Me? No, no. means that it's a permutation problem and this R means how many we are choosing okay and it goes 
goes like this. Okay, look, doesn't that look silly? It's like N, except it's not. We must stop. We must cover this before we go any further. All right, what does this say? Yes, it says five. Yay, five, right? No. Okay, this actually is five factorial. And what that means is that we are going to multiply five by every counting number below it. So we're gonna go five times four times three times two times one. We multiply those together and we don't get five, yay five, we get 120. So that is factorial. Now we may resume. Our n, that's our total. Our r, that's how many we are choosing. The total number of digits here, we have zero through, four, through 39. So there are 40. So we've got 40 and we are choosing three. And the order matters, so it's this permutation formula. So we're gonna go 40 factorial over n minus r, or 40 minus 3 factorial, or 40 factorial over 37 factorial. All right, so that's 40 times 39 times 38 times 37 times 36 times 35 times 34, yada, 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 all the way down. Okay, or we could just go 40 times 39 times 38 times 37 factorial. Sorry, I ran out of room. Over 37 factorial. Okay, and so 37 all the way down to one, they will get canceled out. Okay, so we're just gonna take 40 times 39 times 38, and that happens to be 59,280. And it's that many combinations, but really, it's that many permutations, right? So when somebody says, I forgot my locker combo. Really, you should say, I forgot my locker permu. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's how many permutations there are. 59,280. So I'm gonna try 59,280 of these in order to get it. Really? 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 Okay, well, so if I try all of these, five seconds per permutation, it's going to take me 296,400 seconds, okay? And so then, just to put that more into perspective, if I divide that by 60, I get 4,940 minutes. Divide by 60 again, I get 82 and one-thirds hours. So then if I wanna put this into days too, then if I divide by 24, I get three and a little bit more. So if I, if I divide 82 by 24, um, I get three days, and three days is 72 hours. Okay, so I get three days, and then there's 10 and a third more hours. Three days, and 10 and a third hours. So 10 hours, and then a third of an hour is 20 minutes. Okay, so if I am going to try all of these, it would take me three days, 10 hours. In 20 minutes. Wait a second. What? Me? It wasn't even holding it together? <laughs> we could have just looked all along. Okay, well, it's not in there anyway. It's not in there. Okay. No way. Really? All right. Okay. Well, thank you. You guys, we had another kite sighting. Somebody else saw it. Kite sighting number what? two. What? Hey guys, did somebody say that they saw a car? Yeah. I did too. Yeah. Huh. 
Huh. Did anybody notice anything specific about that car? I think I saw the license plate. Ooh, that's huge. So, the first yeah, number was too. definitely a six. And then it was a vowel or a D. A vowel or a D, that's... Okay, that's and then specific. a number greater than five. Hmm. And then three, three, four. Wow, really? Yeah. Huh. Okay, that might be helpful. Flow to me. It's a eight and a four. Can I see that? Yep. Ah, okay. So is that, does that look right to you, Madeline? Yeah. Huh. Okay. Well, let's figure this out. Okay. Okay. So let's figure this out, guys. Okay. So we have a six and then we don't know, and then we don't know three, three, four. Vowel or a D, so um, either an A, E, I, O, or U, or for some reason it could have been a D. So that's what they saw. They knew it was either a vowel or a D. And um, then that third little character there that's missing is a number greater than five. Okay, and it's just one digit, so it could either be a six, seven, eight. Okay, so there are six choices here and four choices here. In those two spots, those are the possibilities. Okay, so can you just quickly tell how many of those there are? Yep, there's six rows, four in each row. So, yes, there are 24 possibilities. So then if we go up here, we look at our six and four, Oh yes, we multiply. Okay, so given these little restraints, there are 24 possible license plates that um, could possibly belong to whoever was driving this vehicle that may or may not be involved in this crime. All right, but I'm gonna take a little step forward and this won't really help us solve the um, the case, but it'll help me um, teach a new concept. <laughs> so, let's say it's the same thing. Um, this one's either a vowel or a D, and this one's still a number greater than five. Okay, so let's just say that we're just creating a license plate, and um, what is the probability that this spot would be a vowel? Okay, well, how many vowels are there? Well, there are five out of a total of how many letters in the alphabet? 26, okay? So if we're just creating a license plate, every letter has an equally likely chance of being chosen, then there's a five out of 26 chance that it's going to be a vowel. Okay, how about the letter D? Well, there is one letter D in the alphabet, right? Out of a total of 26 letters. Okay, so that's the probability that we would randomly choose a D. Okay, now tell me, what is the probability that we would randomly choose a vowel or a D? Okay, well, let's see, there's five and one, so there's six, right? So the probability of getting one or the other is six out of 26. Okay, do you notice anything about these 526 and 126? Yes, we add them together. Okay, so if we are finding the probability of something or another, then um, we add the probabilities together. Okay, and so we get 6 26 or we reduce to 3 thirteenths. All right, and then a number greater than 5. Okay, again, a 6, 7, 8, or 9. Okay, um, they are 4 out of a total of how many digits? 0 through 9. Yes, that's 10. Good. Okay, so four tenths, there would be a four out of ten chance that um, we would just randomly choose a number greater than five. Okay, so four tenths is two fifths. Okay, but what if now we want to find the probability of both of those things happening? So we want to find a probability that this license plate is going to match these criteria. Okay, so the probability of um, vowel or D and and a number greater than five. Okay, well, 
we just, we multiplied the four and the six when we were trying to find the number of total possibilities. So yes, you guessed it. We're gonna do that right now to find the probability that we would um, fit both of these criteria, this and this. I'm gonna take my 3 thirteenths and my 2 fifths and I'm gonna multiply them together. And I get six out of 65. permutations um, permutations the order matters and a combination the order doesn't matter so would this be a permutation or a combination That'd be a, combination. a combination okay so we're going to use the combination formula okay so the combination formula works like this okay where n is the the total number and r is the number you are choosing and c that just stands for, this is a combination problem, okay? And this is what that formula is, okay? N factorial over R factorial times N minus R factorial, okay? And in this case, our N, our total work, that was eight ingredients and we are choosing four. We're, we're gonna go eight, choose four. So we've got eight factorial over four factorial times eight minus four factorial. Okay, so. Because eight minus four is four, right? Okay, so I'm gonna cross out all these four, three, twos, and ones. And they're gone. Ooh, look at this though. I can go three times two is six, so boom, boom, boom. Those are gone. And then I've got four and eight. This can become a two and this can become a one. Ooh, look, the bottom's all gone. I've got two times seven times five. Huh, what's seven times five? 35. 35 and 35 times two is? 70. 70. So I've got 70 possible smoothies that I can make if I pick four of the eight ingredients. That's interesting. Is that useful in our case? Not really. Sure. Not really. Should we go eat some smoothies? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Are you serious? Really? Okay, well great news. Alright, thanks. Bye. You guys, somebody else saw the kite. Maybe. I mean they saw a kite. So alright, well, we'll see. There might be something on our phone. Well, let's try to get in. It is, didn't work. You try something. Okay.
So here is a shortcut for permutation. So in my passcode, there are no repeats. Okay, so I'm not using like a five twice or something like that. Okay, there are eight characters. So that means there are 10 choices for the first one. Okay, I've used one of them. So there are nine for the second. Okay, so there are those numbers, and like we said before, um, we're going to multiply these together, and then that will give us our answer. But this is the permutation formula. We have 10 characters, we're choosing 8, so it looks like this, but look at this. It's the same thing, okay, because we're just going to um, cancel out. We're gonna cancel out the two and the one, okay? And so then that becomes the same thing, okay? You can just kind of write out the little spaces and write how many choices there are and just multiply them together. Then you don't have to do the whole permutation formula. And so in this case, I have 1,814,400 possibilities for my passcode. So there's no way. multiple attempts and many footballs and bats stuck in a tree we have finally rescued the kite yes! yeah! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! all right so we don't know exactly what happened but it was up in the tree hey it's what's box. this Oh no, I can't open it. Oh, there's something on the bottom of it. It's a key. It's a key. Congratulations, you, you found, found it. it. Wait, so did, so was it in the tree all along or did someone put it there? I, I guess we never know. 